Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing tonight? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I am here with this month's uh, Smash That Small Paper Pad video, which I've been doing every month from the beginning of the year. You know, on the 25th of the month, we all post a video and there's several um, wonderful crafters involved in this collab with Deb. And um, so just, they'll be all linked below and you can go and visit all their channels and just get lots of ideas for smashing your small paper pads and it's any paper pad smaller than a 12 by 12. So last month I started on this paper pad right here and uh, to be honest I have not done any work on it since last month. <laughs> I made that journal uh, last month or I started a journal and just to remind you how cute this paper pad is and why I bought it but just you know I haven't used it but it's so pretty and I kind of you know uh, I like making all types of journals and I kind of make a lot of vintage related you know like distressed and vintage and things like that coffee dyed papers but I really love all types of journals I love doing all types of journals I mean I want to do some calming comic book journals. I just love all types of journals. So this paper pad, you know, you can see it's not really vintage. It's, you know, it's got shoes. It's just got some fun, bright, pretty colors in it. And so I wanted to use this last month I started and I started making a journal and I was just showing how to use the papers and fold them, you know, and I was trying, I think my my goal was not to have any scraps. I've been on this quest <laughs> to use up all my paper scraps. So um, I was folding the paper sideways and someone uh, commented and suggested, you know, why don't you just, because the papers were sideways because I was folding them like this. Here's some that I took out. So these are all, um, let's see, did it, like uh, these don't really have a pattern that's sideways or whatever but just okay just say picture these uh like the words are sideways okay so uh why don't you the person said why don't you just turn them around and fold them this way and my thinking was well i was trying not to uh, make any scraps but i said well why don't i do that why don't i see what challenge myself to you know go ahead and turn them around and if I have scraps, I'll just challenge myself to use the scraps right away, okay? So that's what I did. So that's why I took these papers out right here. Oh, I took the whole notebook apart. I didn't sew it or anything or bind it last month. So they were not, you know, bound. So I could just, you know, I pulled everything apart, took it apart. And so this is what I ended up right, with right here. So I'm going to show you this first. And hopefully after I show you this, We'll have some time to make some ephemera because that's how I, I could uh, plan to use up some more of this paper pad. So here's what I made. This is all made from this paper pad. I didn't pull out any other papers. Well, that's a lie. <laughs> I did pull out some other papers, but it's all made from this paper pad except for I pulled out some lined writing papers, I'm going to call them. Okay, I wanted to, I always like to include those in my journals too. And, you know, I really think a journal needs that, right? I didn't want to make just all pattern paper. So anyway, here's the cover. Uh, I really, uh, when I ran into this camera paper, again, I thought, you know, I was trying to figure out what am I going to do for a cover? You know, can't like, uh, do I need to pull out some cardstock and decorate a cover? And then I started noticing the pretty papers in, you know, different fun patterns in this paper pad. And this camera one jumped out at me and said, use me as a cover. <laughs> and that reason was because I was trying to figure out, um, do I need to turn this right side up or what? But these cameras are going every which way. So it doesn't matter. See how there's some are this way, some are upside down, some are right side up. So I was like, well, this is the perfect thing to use as a cover. So that's what I did, and I used the whole sheet, eight and a half by 11. Uh, let me show you the closure first, and then I'll show you when I open it up. It's bound with uh, some brown wax cord or string, whatever you thread, whatever you want to call it. And then I took some, uh, what is this, seam binding, and it's brown, so it matched the colors. This is brown right here. The outlines and the little centers of the lenses are brown. There's some brown spots, and then 
These are other pretty colors, but their brown seem to be like a good base. So anyway, brown seam binding. So I took it. Let me open it up for you. It kind of opens like this and unwraps. And I uh, put here, I put a um, an eyelet right here. It's a brass like or bronze uh, eyelet. And then I wound this around. Now, sometimes I, I'll tie a knot when I use these, but this is... This is paper, this is not cardstock, but it's kind of a thick paper. It's not like a thin scrapbook paper or thin paper, but it's not, it's still paper, it's not cardstock. So that's why I try, I was trying to make a nice closure that didn't add any bulk and was going to stay on here. So that's why I put the eyelid on here. And then this can just be wrapped around when you're ready to close it, you know, like this. And then you have this old key on here and then you just tuck it through and there you have your journal closed right i thought that was fun a fun closure and matched you know the cut paper and everything so anyway i took the uh, eight and a half by eleven paper and just laid it on its side since these cameras can go anyway and i rounded the corners and just made a little flap to go you know over the cover i thought that was fun and different not necessarily different, different, like nobody's ever done it before. Just, you know, I haven't done any like this recently, so different for me lately. <laughs> so anyway, so then this little flap opens up, and then here's the pages. So this is what I did. When I had scraps, I used them. Okay, so like this was a scrap that I cut off of one piece of paper, and I used it for pockets, these cute little ice cream cones here. I mean, when you see, when you see how it turned out, I just totally reminded myself of why I bought this paper pad because it's so fun and pretty. So anyway, as we turn, like you'll see what, what's from the paper pad and the lined paper that I added. So like here, um, this is from the paper pad. This pocket I made just by folding up the paper. So I still used a whole piece of paper right here and just folded it up, made, some, made a pocket. And then like this is some lined paper. So there's no like coffee dyed paper or any kind of distressing in here. It's all kind of fun, pretty bright colors. So uh, here's another piece from the from the paper pad, and this pretty tree ended up right here. Isn't that pretty? And then some. And I don't want. I didn't want to put a pocket here or anything and cover up this pretty tree. So I left it just like this. And then there's graph, and then this pretty paper here, with uh, let's see, no pocket on this one. It had all these pretty ice cream. <laughs> popsicles and ice cream cones and ice cream sundaes and cupcakes and little ch cherries I guess that is I'm not sure it's so sweet so I just love that and then some ledger paper another pretty page here and this was a cut off here this piece and so I made a side tuck right here and then uh, some like kids writing paper it's right here I used the whole piece and I folded it over so it would, you know, I wouldn't have to cut any off of this. So this is a fold, fold out. And then another piece from this paper pad. And then another cutoff here I used as a belly band. So right here you can tuck something in. And then another piece of pretty lined paper. And then another piece from the kit. And this one I used, this was, let's see, was this a fold up? Yeah, this was a fold up. See how it matches this side I just folded it up and made these pockets so um, you know I didn't want to make it too bulky so that it wouldn't fold nicely and you still have room to put things in here right some writing and glue some things in so that because of that and if you know if it wasn't a flip over like this I might have put a few more pages in but with since it flips over like that you need to I needed to watch how much I put in there and did not get carried away, right? So in the back half, of course, it's the other half of um, the f pages that are in the front. Uh, same papers. I'm just trying to see if there's anything different back here. Uh, here's another cutoff. Now this one is sideways, but it's I think it's super cute, this bike. Like bicycle built for one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> it's so pretty. And it's a side tuck right here. I just really had fun with this, uh, making this journal and uh, not more pretty lined paper. Another pocket here and this is uh, 
let's see, this is a pocket, yeah, and then the back page, and a pocket here from a cutoff, and then these are all the cutoffs from the lined paper, and you know, the ledger paper and all that, so I thought I would just stick this in here. This is going to end up in my Etsy shop, so, um, you know, it's, uh, it's going to end up in my Etsy shop, so uh, this is just for somebody to have fun with, so I thought for the rest of the time here that I might have, after showing you what I did with some of the papers, we could make some some ephemera for this journal. And I don't, I kind of have a plan, but I don't really exactly have an exact plan of what I'm doing here. But I thought I'd start out looking at the papers, like here's another camera page. Uh, start out looking at the papers and see what would be good for a journaling card like Journaling cards, I like to have, you can, I, you know, I usually like to say I have something on one side, whether it's just a graphic or illustration or something, or, or it's, you know, collage or whatever, do something on one side and leave the other side for writing, right? So, uh, like this, uh, not really, doesn't scream writing to me. Uh, this... Actually, this would be good for writing. This is one of the previous ones I had in the journal. This would be okay for writing, too. Uh, we might pull this one. Okay, let's put these two to the side for now. And let's, well, let's start with one because, you know, don't have a lot of time here. But uh, since I already folded this, let's just cut it on the folds. And I'm going to cut it, since I folded it, I'm going to cut it right here. Just cut the fold off. So I have a nice straight edge when I'm trying to make a tag or a drawing card. So let's go ahead and do that. I have my paper cutter right here. And so I'm cutting off the folds. Let me see if I can do this right without destroying this. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I was, you see, I just have this little piece I can throw out. So, and then I'm going to cut this fold. See, if I, if I cut it like this, I might have a little something that is well will i i can try it let me see let me try it and see what happens because i did that before i just did it a few minutes ago and i ended up with a little flip up let's see if it's flipping up so yeah it's it's kind of like not a it's kind of like a little it's not a flip up but i can feel it where it's not straight like this side so i did i do need to cut that i do need to cut that off just to have a straight, nice, flat edge there. See, it wasn't, I guess I, what I'm trying to say it, is it wasn't flat. So, let's see, is this one flat? See, this one, which side did I cut off? This one, I think, is more flat. This one is, yeah, but this one's okay. I don't think I need to cut any more off of this one. Okay, so journaling cards. So, let's see. Journaling cards, um, my first thought of journaling cards, when I think of a journaling card, I think of about a three by four. So I'm just going to kind of, and plus I don't want to waste any paper. So if I can cut this in three, we can have three journaling cards here. And let me see where I might want to cut it about right there. And then one more. So these would be nice little writing spots. I can decorate these or I can just put them in the journal for someone. And this is kind of like turning out to be like a blank journal, which I think is really fun. You can add your pictures. You can write. You can glue things in. Uh, you know, different mementos if you have tickets or just whatever, anything that comes into your daily life that you might want to keep or you know something maybe you printed something out and you want to keep it you know as a some kind of memory that happened that day or somebody sent you something uh, on your Facebook messenger <laughs> or whatever stuff like that so see this is decorated I consider this side decorated and this side to be the writing writing page so we've got three journaling cards and those can be decorated in any either side for whoever get may, might get this journal this one could be two tags, so I'm not going to fly. I'm going to fold it just a little, make a little fold here to see where the middle is. So we can cut like right there. And well, you could, well, yeah, I think I'll make two tags out of this. I was going to say you could make a folded tag, but let's just go ahead and make two tags out of this. 
and let's see, grab my scissors. You just see how much ephemera we can make. Uh, and this will all be included with this journal. I'm just eyeballing my little cuts here. And let's see, do I have a hole punch? Let me grab my, my crocodile right here. And I was going to grab some baker's twine, but I forgot. So I'll do that later. Maybe add some baker's twine. But here we go. Little tags. Cute, right? And they're all matching. I mean, it's so uh, kind of cool. I mean, it's really cool when you have a paper pad like this and uh, it's made to so that everything coordinates. You know what I mean? So anything you make from the same paper pad usually coordinates really well. So here you go. We already have, I'll put some Baker's Twine on these, but three drawing cards, two tags. And let's see what we want to make out of this one. This could be some more journaling cards, or we can make a little, let me see, a little, see, I, I, like I said, I want this to be a blank journal, so I don't want to be like, I could put a, this would be a great little, you know what this could be? I, well, it could be a fold up, flip up, flip down. I was thinking that, or it could be a little envelope. Let's make a little envelope out of this one. Let's see which way we want it. Uh, let's make it this way. Let's make it this way. We're going to make a little envelope. Just a simple one here. And like I said, this paper is thick. It's almost like cardstock, but it's not. It's not cardstock. It's paper. I mean, right now when I'm folding this, I feel like I'm folding cardstock, but I, it's not cardstock. <laughs> That's why I felt like I could get away with making a cover with it. So there's an envelope, not finished. Let's round our corners here. And let's see what else we might want to do. Do we want I think I'm gonna leave these straight and just put some glue on here. Glue this together. We'll have a little envelope we're gonna include with the journal. And you've got, you know, it's pretty on the inside and pretty on the outside because it's double-sided scrapbook paper. Put a little glue just on this part right here. Okay, so with our next piece of paper, I thought we could make some punch outs. So you could really make a lot of ephemera out of to go with a journal. So you make your, you know, you've made your journal. Now just, you know, make, you can make any size envelope you want, you know, cut your paper accordingly. I thought we'd make some punch outs. I have, and these could be used to decorate the journal. Let me put my pen in my glue and check the time. Just a second. This is at the end of this bottle. Still using, if you've been watching my channel, it's the same. <laughs> it's the same art glitter glue. I've been using it for like three weeks now. I keep thinking I'm going to have the last drip and it keeps coming out. Okay, let me check my time here. Well, I've got plenty, pretty much plenty of time. So I have a few, a few paper punches. I've got this little butterfly. I've got a heart. I've got two tags. Um, I'll show you. A this size smaller and this size. And if you're new to junk journaling and you you know you see all my stuff, oh you got you've got all this fancy stuff. I've collected this since I started my Etsy shop and started making journals in 2015. So that's how long it's taken me. You know, I've just bought a few things here and there over the last, what, five, what is that, five years. And so it takes time to gather and collect your, you know, things that you want to use. So don't think you have to, you know, go out and buy a bunch of stuff to make journals. You can just use what you have. That's what I... I've done all along, you know what I mean? So, and I really prefer to shop at thrift stores because that's my favorite kind of stuff to use, <laughs> book pages and stuff. But, you know, I do shop uh, when I run into a good deal on a paper pad, like this one was on clearance for $5, and it's a regularly $10 one at Walmart. They don't care them any, carry this one anymore, but that's why it was on clearance for 5 bucks, right? So... 
Anyway, you can't pass up a good deal on scrapbook paper when you love it, right? <laughs> so, um, let's, this is a good one to maybe, you know, I almost, it's so pretty, I hate to cut into it. Let me, <laughs> let me see what else we got here. Um, now, these little pieces right here can be used as decorations. Oh, and I have a star here too. Where's my star? Where is my star? I just got the star at, Where's my star? Hold on. Let me reach over here. There it is. I know I have it. Sorry, i got to reach over here real quick. I have to use my star. I just, speaking of getting new tools, um, Tuesday morning has great, a lot of great prices. If you, you know, know your prices, I mean, some things might be, you know, if you know your prices, you'll say, well, that's too expensive. I'm not paying that. Or when it comes to paper punches, like their paper punches, like this is probably... I don't know. I'm going to guess $10 at least on Amazon. And I got it for $4.99. These, both of these, $4.99 each at, uh, not in the same week, two, like two or three weeks from each other. So, you know, I don't go out and buy a bunch of stuff at, all at one time. But, uh, yeah, uh, $4.99 for these nice, uh, what are these, Fiskars? Or, I'm not sure what brand they are. But, um, anyway, nice paper punches from Tuesday morning. So, what I'm looking like, what would make a pretty star? What would make a pretty heart, right? So I think some bright colors would, like this right here even. Yeah, this would be good to punch out some pretty stars and hearts to decorate this journal. Maybe decorate the pockets or wherever. Decorate a corner of a page or anything like that. So let's just see. I haven't used this star yet. I just brought it home a couple nights ago. I haven't taken time to try it out, so let's see how it does. <laughs> so exciting. All right, my first star ever. I didn't have a star punch, and I was like, you know, when I saw one there, I was like, oh, cool. I can do all kinds of fun, fun stuff with stars, right? So there's one. <laughs> one whole star. Well, let's punch out a few here. And we'll get all different colors here. Then see this, these stripes. That's really a, a kind of cool. You'll get all different colors as you go down the page here. So let's see. Let's make some quick stars. Quick work of the stars and see what we get. Well, yeah. Okay. I, I'm not used to these where you punch like this. I'm used to the other ones where you kind of look at the bottom. And then it falls out of the box, you know. <laughs> Anyway, I'm getting used to this one. I like it to fall down my little whatever I'm making. So excuse my flip here, but I kind of like it to fall down on my table here so I know where it's going. And I want it out of my punch so I can see where I'm punching, right? So that's why I'm like doing this number, the flip. Okay, so sorry. I could go a little faster. Okay. Get off of there. It's stuck electricity or something okay so those are those are fun and they're double-sided so you could be like well I don't want that side I want this side the pretty little brown and pink or the striped side so that's awesome we have about a what about eight or nine or ten stars there so let's put these over to the side and try the heart okay now I have tried this one before I made a lot of hearts or I made some hearts, so let's see how these come out. These are a little bigger. And this fits right in that slot. That's how these punches work. And you squeeze these little handles. And so, super cute. And there's the little hearts on the back, so you can use either side if you glue it down to something. Okay. So cute. Okay, let me try to make a bunch here real quick without... Maybe turn it over so much. Let me see how that works. I'm used to the other ones, like I said. Okay. And I haven't cut the little strip off the top of this one. So, like when you're making punches, I mean, do we really care that there's a little dotted line there? I don't care. <laughs> and then we don't have any scraps. Not that that's, well, it is a scrap, but I was going to show you what I did with that. To do with that, too. Uh, here's a scrap. If I have time, let me check my time. Don't want to get cut off. Sorry. Okay, I've got about five minutes. 
So real quick, and we'll make some butterflies if we have time, and some uh, some uh, butterfly uh, t tags, little tags that I showed you. So this is what I do with these types of strips sometimes. I just make little mini tags, and I just cut little whatever, uh, you know, shape that I want my little mini tags to be in, whatever size. This is probably going to be trash. It has a hole in it. <laughs> So, uh, mini tags, we're making mini tags. So that was just a strip that I cut off the top of one of the papers. So then I just do this, just to give you an example of one, I won't do them all right now, I'll do those later. But just, there you go, a little mini tag and take a, you can do it with any hole punch. I just happen to have this one right here right now. I, before I had this, I just used my regular hole punch, you know, the cheap little dollar hole punch to punch holes in these mini tags so just use what you have don't feel like you have to have any special kind of hole punch you know what I mean so just I'm trying to eyeball the center here punch a hole and then you can put a little baker's twine in here or whatever and there you have a little mini cute little mini tag for your journal so that's what I'm going to do with those so let's see we have hearts and stars Let's do some mini, not mini, but these are the smaller little tags. So let's do the, these over here. See, this is what I'm used to. I'm used to doing this, but I still turn it over to get the tag, the, you know, the, the punch out so I can see what I'm doing, right? But they just kind of fall off a little easier, easier I guess. Okay. So... And then I'll punch a hole in these and do the same thing. A little hole in the top and put some Baker's twine on it. There we go. Punch a bunch of little tags. Now I need to make some more space for punching. I have this up here, but kind of need a little bit more room here. So just cut this off. There we go. We're ready to punch again. Got the big one, the big old one here. <laughs> Yes, these come in real handy. If you want to know what punches you'll use a lot, I use these a lot. I've used these a lot since I first started. Uh, I think I got these when I first started uh, making journals in. I have used these a lot. So, probably need to sharpen this one. And I just sharpen with foil. Just sharpen with fo punch and foil. <laughs> Okay, sorry if that was a little loud. Hope it wasn't too loud for you. But I do the same thing with these punch a little hole and put some baker's twine. So, see all these all these things you can do to use up your paper pad and make ephemera for your journal. So, all those were put into the side. So, what didn't we use? Do we use everything? I think we did. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed those ideas. I'm going to finish these up and uh, this will be listed in my shop if you're interested and if this sells pretty quick like I'll make some more but like if it doesn't if it's gonna sit there <laughs> I'm just gonna make this one and let it sit there until it sells and then I'll make some more whenever this sells I'll make some more but this is gonna be very inexpensive sometimes I like to do that just make some very inexpensive fun pretty you know journals and stick them in my shop so I like to do all the different kind of things. So anyway, thanks for joining me today. I hope everyone's having a great week and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.